flags up coming in and they're off they're away to the first timer for the betway grand sefton handicap chase over two miles and five furlongs they jump a total of 18 fences spyglass hill via dolorosa sir jack yates up the inside were the leading three they've all jumped the first fence safely manuel was the last to clear it Hogan's height going wide with time to get up in the midfield as the leaders arrive at fence number two. So Jack Yates up the inside from Via Dolorosa, Spyglass Hill very low in third. Uh, they've already gone a few lengths clear from Mac Totty and Senior Citizen, the Wests Awake and Al Rock and Frankie de Burley settles midfield just in front of Cat Tiger as uh, Jack Yates with a clear lead takes them over the chair which is fence number three and there are no casualties there with Manuel and Hogan's Hyde, a previous winner of the race, bringing up the rear. The water jump is number four, Sir Jack Yates from Via Dolorosa, Spyglass Hill, the West's Awake, a rather slovenly leap out over the water. He's currently chasing the front rank as they swing left-handed through the Grand National start shortly and onto a line of fences that will culminate in Beecher's Brook. The next they jump will be the fence number five, so Jack Yates takes them to it, pursued by Via Dolorosa, Spyglass Hill, Mac Totty. Uh, on the heels of the leading quartet, the Wests awake as they close in on the next. Senior Citizen is hunting them up too. Al Rock is up the inside, following Mac Totty through as they come to jump fence number five. So Jack Yates rose in front but made a mistake. Via Dolorosa is a close second now. Mac Totty and Spyglass Hill and Senior Citizen angling to their outside of the next three. Then the Wests awake as they jump the second down the side. Manuel and Time to Get Up are still in rear. Al Rock has come off the bridle at a relatively early stage, dropping back towards the inside as they come over an open ditch. Third fence on the side, which Cat Tiger hit very hard. David Maxwell had to gather up the reins as they come on towards another plain fence. So Jack Yates via Dolorosa, Spyglass Hill over in third. Mac Totty jumped it in fourth place. Then follows Senior Citizen, the West's Awake, Frankie de Burley, Al Rock on the inside is next. Then follows Cat Tiger, Hogan's Height back in the field on the wide outside as they clear the next. Thomas McDonough, Manuel, and Time to Get Up are in the last three positions as they work their way down to Beecher's Brook. Fence number 10, and it's Sir Jack Yates on the inside of Via Dolorosa. Spyglass Hill between runners, a very close third, still no casualties. Mac Totty runs fourth as they approach Foynaven. Senior Citizen is next, then follows the Wests awake as they come over the Foynaven fence from Frankie de Burley. Thomas McDonough, who gets a shake of the reins, has dropped back to be just about last up sides Manuel as they cross Canal Turn. It will be Sir Jack Yates, Spyglass Hill, and Via Dolorosa, the leading three. And Sir Jack Yates made a mistake, which the jockey did well to survive. Cost him several lengths and uh, looks as though we've lost Cat Tiger just after the canal turn. David Maxwell's been unseated, having gone right up to join the leaders. No, it wasn't Cat Tiger, my mistake. A Cat Tiger's still in the race, but he's well back in the field as they come towards the fence after Valentine's. Sir Jack Yates was back in front. He was hampered by the riderless horse with uh, Via Dolorosa and Matt Totty in second and third. They're being hunted up by Senior Citizen. It was Spyglass Hill who went at the canal turn as the leaders come towards the final open ditch. Sir Jack Hicks has got the advantage from Via Dolorosa. They've been the front couple throughout and they're about three lengths up on Matt Totty with Senior Citizen over in fourth and they're clear from Thomas McDonough who's gone off in pursuit of the leading quartet as they race over over the anchor bridge crossing. Via Dolorosa has gone to the front under David Noonan. Matt Totty into second. So Jack Yates now beginning to labor in third. They are being followed by Matt Totty who goes past Sir Jack Yates. Senior Citizen is fifth as they join the race course proper. After those is Thomas McDonough and they're clear of Cat Tiger who is beginning to run on but he's got 
six horses in front of him on their way to the second last in the Betway Grand Sefton. Via Dolorosa has the advantage. Mac Totty has moved up into second place. Senior Citizen into third. Manuel and Cat Tiger are closing in on the leading group along with Thomas McDonough as they went over the second last. Mac Totty has joined issue with Via Dolorosa. Senior Citizen is only a length away. Manuel moving into fourth. Then Cat Tiger as they jump the final fence. Mac Totty over and in front for James Bowen. Now a couple of lengths clear of Senior Citizen with a furlong and a half on the run into cover. Via Dolorosa is fading in third. Manuel is back in fourth. And then comes Cat Tiger. Hogan's height is staying on. Best of the rest at the elbow. Mac Totty a length in front of Senior Citizen. Thrown down a sustained challenge. Mac Totty drifting off the inside rail. But he's got the advantage running up towards the line. Mac Totty holds on to win the Grand Sefton. In second place was Senior Citizen. Manuel stayed on to be third. Via Dolorosa has finished fourth. Cat Tiger and Hogan's High to finishes, along with Thomas McDonough, Frankie de Burley. Then came Sir Jack Yates and Al Rock, and time to get up was last to finish. 22 won the winner, Mac Totty, James Bowen riding for his father Peter and he found plenty for pressure on the running. You got a feel for the McNeil family. Half an hour ago they had Kiltili Briggs second to Lina Lee King. Well, they just had senior citizen finishing second here to Mac Totty, who was just in behind the leaders after they went down the far side of the track after beaches and uh, picked him off, always travelling smoothly, and was the last off the bridle and found for pressure, this tongue-tied eight-year. Second senior citizen, third, that was Manuel, who's run a big race at a big price, an 11-year-old, and uh, fourth was, uh, we'll confirm fourth, Via Della Rosa, who'd been up there early on, Mark. Yeah, he ran really well, that was his uh, British debut today for David Pipe, who was positive at ridden, jumped well, just got tired from the second last onwards, but uh, Mac Totty, Fourth on his reappearance at uh, Fontwell, he was well held on that occasion. Hood off today, travelled really strongly, didn't he? He was on the bridle from a, from a fair way out. And he's had a really good set too with senior cities, and that's the third time he's run well over these fences. He, I wouldn't say, you can't say he's not got the trip today, but I think Matt Totty's just the strongest there. The Bowies love to target entry fences, don't they? Yeah, they, they do. They've, um, They've, um, <coughs> they've got a good record you know, in the various races, especially the Tottenham Chase. But yeah, good performance from Matt Totty. That's his third win over fences. He was a winner at, um, at Market Resin and Newbury last season. Had that seasonal pipe opener, but he didn't show a great deal really at Fontwell. But I suspect that was um, that was just teeing him up nicely for this. His last of four, beating 65 lengths last time we saw him. But he got him spot on for this. And what to make of the run of time to get up? Never got involved, did he? Was in, he was in the rear. You can see him jumping the second last now, but he's, he's a tailed off last at this stage. But no, he, ne he never, never really. Well, he didn't get competitive. Was at any he, stage. It looked like he was being hunted round, like an old-fashioned Grand National type on the first part of the race. But you think he just couldn't lay off? Well, he, he did, if that was the case, he'd have liked to see him finishing off his race, and he, he never has done, has he? So uh, whether he didn't enjoy the experience, he's beginning to run on now. But you know, he's, he's obviously he's, he's a long way back. Big mention to Manuel. He's run really well for Sam England. He was bottom weight off 10 stone. He's run a cracker. He's out just outstayed Via Dolorosa for uh, for third position. Thought Cat Tiger was going to get involved at the second last, but I think he made up too much ground between the third last and the second last, and then he had nothing left later on.